Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Contained Blast. To get this gun, you will need the Bounty of Blood DLC, and the enemy you want to farm is Abadoxus. So yeah, let's head over and get this weapon. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to Ashfall Peaks, and we're going to be heading right over here on the map. And right over in this location, you're going to find an enemy known as Abadoxus. That is who we're taking on today. So yeah, I'll head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. Just a little past where we're going, you're going to find a save station right here. And that's going to make it a really short walk after you save quit because you're going to spawn right there. So let's head over, take the jump pad. Here we go. There he is. So we'll do one kill together. And spray him down. First run, we didn't get it, so I will keep farming. Oh, there it is. Got it on run number three. Anyways, we have the contained blast. Damage, really high. Also, it can be times one or times two. Accuracy, good. Handling, average. Reload time, not bad. Fire rate, average. And mag size, 16. Red text is put a lid on it. Bonus, splash damage radius. Consumes three ammo per shot. Now, if you have the times one variant, it's going to be two ammo per shot. And also, 2.2 times weapon zoom. Also, this weapon comes in all the elements, including the non-elemental form. So the gun looks pretty good. Um, it's dark gray with a bunch of orange cracks on it. And I think that combo works out really well. Yeah, I like it. So this weapon is pretty cool. You can see here we have one that's times one, not times two. And when you shoot it, it's going to shoot out two shots per trigger pull. And one of the shots are going to be a sticky. So when you reload, they're going to blow up. The times two one's going to shoot out four shots, two of them being stickies. And same thing, when you reload, it's going to blow up. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 10. Here's the modifiers I have. And let's go ahead and push forward. Freeze you up. Watch out for barrels. I saw you over there. And you can see this thing does really good work. Yeah, this thing is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and you're dead. Wow. Like, these enemies are dying before I can get the reload and, you know, blow up the shots. So this thing does even more than what I'm showing here. Now, it's not, like, super accurate. So for long range, you can see here, it kind of goes everywhere. So this gun is really meant for close range. Spam away, get the reloads in, and yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Yeah, this assault rifle is a lot of fun, and definitely one of my favorites from this DLC. Honestly, the mobbing is super easy with this thing, so let's head over to a boss. I decided I want to take on the Empowered Gron. Oh my goodness, really? This gun? Go for the crit. Load up. So far, so good. Looks like one more mag, and yep, we got him. Yeah, it would have been better if we had a fire one, but that did get the job done. Anyways, final thoughts on the Contained Blast. This gun is great. It puts out great damage and is very spammable. Um, otherwise, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. As for the complaints, it is not very accurate. So landing shots on crits from longer ranges can be difficult. Overall, it's a pretty solid gun and super easy to farm too. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.